This core workout will keep your abdominal muscles and your pelvic floor strong throughout pregnancy. Although it is safe, if you feel any shortness of breath, pain in your chest or pain anywhere, make sure you stop the exercises and seek medical advice. Let's start with your warm up. Making your way down onto your mat into all fours. Wrists directly under shoulders, knees under hips, and we'll just go into some nice pelvic tilts. So from here, we're gonna inhale and let the sit bones widen, pelvic floor relaxes, and then exhale, we're just gonna gently rock that tailbone under. So inhale, lengthen and release. And then exhale, giving a light hug of that baby towards the spine. Inhale, and then exhale, long through the crown of the head, Inhale, sit bones widen, exhale, and then we'll just add some nice cat and cow. So inhale, we're gonna lengthen through that spine, and then exhale, we're gonna press that floor away as we tuck under. Inhale, lengthen, release, feel that pelvic floor melt. Exhale. So we're just connecting breath to movement here making sure that we can feel the pelvic floor turn on and off. Inhale, lengthen, one more. And then just stopping in that nice neutral spine and now just going into some nice hip circles. So completely up to you, work in a range that feels comfortable. You can do big circles, little circles, what all feels comfortable to you. Do one more in this direction and we'll just reverse way. So coming around, changing directions. One more. Well done. We're just gonna raise the arms towards the ceiling, breathe in at the bottom. Exhale, connect with that pelvic floor, lower abdominals pressing up through the heels, one. So there will be a modification that comes up um, for any of those through pregnancy where laying on your back just isn't comfortable anymore. So feel free to give that a go. Good, inhale, lower, exhale, press. Got five more. Three, two more. We're doing breath to movement still. Well done. On the next one, we're gonna stay here. We're gonna breathe in as we prepare. Nice and stable through the pelvis and then exhale, we're opening up. Inhale back to center. Well done. Nice way to check in, make sure that there's no doming of those abdominal muscles that were nice and stable. Both legs are opening evenly. Good, four more. Glutes are warming up. Well done, slowly coming down. Gently making your way onto all fours again. So just making sure with your setup, anyone who suffers from carpal tunnel through pregnancy, just make sure you take the hands slightly forward and this just stops the compression through the wrist joint. So from there, knees are directly under the hips and we're just gonna prep. So we're gonna do a bear hover. So from here, we're gonna breathe in, sit bones widen and exhale. We're just gonna connect and check in with the pelvic floor and the lower abs. Making sure that they are switched on, we're gonna breathe in. And then as we exhale, we're gonna just hover those knees so nothing changes. And then inhale, lower back down. So it's just a prep. So with the next one, we're actually gonna stay up there for three breaths. So it means you need to be able to breathe into the backs, the sides, and the fronts of the ribs without letting your tummy go. So off we go, breathe in, prepare. Exhale, and we're gonna stay here. Again, there will be a modification. If this feels too hard that you can't keep the core connection, then feel free, just lower back down, to just raise up and down, but a modification will come up in the corner. So we're gonna breathe in, exhale, press the floor away, lift those knees, 
and stay here. So we're just gonna continue to breathe, nice and stable. And then lowering back down. Well done, two more. Inhale, prepare, connect with that pelvic floor, good. Exhale. Staying here nice and strong through the shoulders. And then lowering back down, last one. Exhale, just hover those knees. Gently hug the baby towards the spine. And then lowering back down. Well done. Keeping this position nice and stable, we're going straight into Superman or Super Mum, as others like to know it as. So gently we're going to slide the right arm, left leg, coming up, and then floating back down. So everything is nice and stable. Exhale, and then inhale. Well done. Very important that you don't feel like you're swaying into your back as you extend. You want to keep that gentle hug of your baby towards the spine. Well done. Two more and then we're going to add in a pulse. We're going to stay here and we're just going to pulse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight. Well done. Coming over changing side so feel free if you need to do a couple of cat cows just to find your center take this time and then take that breath in relax that pelvic floor and then exhale we're going to extend left arm right leg one nice and stable through the supporting arm and leg and really find that breath to movement One more and we're gonna stay up there and add some pulses. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now gently make your way down onto your side, coming onto your right elbow, line yourself up with the back of your mat. So heels, tailbone, shoulders and head all in a straight line. And from there, we're gonna breathe in Relax the pelvic floor and then exhale, we're just checking in. So we're lifting up and in through the pelvic floor and wrapping through the abdominals, just to make sure we are engaged before we do the movement. So here we go, we're gonna breathe in. Exhale, press up into your side plank and then inhale, lower back down. So we're just going up and down for now. Well done. Five, well done. Two more. Well done, one more. We're just gonna slightly uh, extend your left leg. Elevate that right arm. We're gonna come up into your side plank and add in some nice crunches. So breathe in, prepare, and then exhale, elbow to knee. Really use that exhale breath to draw that elbow to me. Two more. Last one. Well done. Slowly uh, extend the left leg, drop down, and we're just gonna change sides. So make your way onto your left elbow. Again, set yourself up in a nice straight line. Just check in with that pelvic floor. Make sure we're engaged before we elevate. So we're gonna inhale, just nice lift through that side body. Off we go, pressing up, exhale, inhale, lower. We're nearly there. One more. Well done, just extend that right leg, right arm towards the ceiling. Exhale as we come up, inhale, prepare, and then really using that exhale breath to bring elbow to knee. Now 
Nearly there. Last one. And then slowly calming back down. Making your way down onto your bottom. We're gonna have, so with your reverse plank, completely up to you with your um, hand position. Having your fingers towards your feet just compresses the shoulder a lot. So feel free to either open them. I like to open them. So from here, just again, check in with your posture. So we just wanna think nice and proud through the front of the chest. Breathe in. And then as we exhale, we're coming up into a reverse plank. So it's a good position to see that your abdominals are connecting. There should be no doming. Well done, we're nearly there. You've got two more. Exhale, press. Inhale, lower, last one. Now just making your way back to all fours just for a gentle cool down. So coming onto all fours, just going into puppy pose. So keep your sit bones high, gently reach forward to where it's comfortable. As the belly grows, you'll go wider with your knees just to help create that space for the tummy. And then relax the head wherever is comfortable. If that feels too much, you can come up onto your elbows, whatever is comfortable for you today. Taking three breaths here. Feel the sit bones widen, feel the pelvic floor lengthen and relax. Very important to relax your pelvic floor after a workout to make sure you weren't gripping through the session. Really find that you're breathing into that pelvic bowl, relaxing that pelvic floor. And then just gently, we're going to slide that right arm through, relaxing the head down. Just a nice, gentle stretch through the rib cage. And just focusing that breath into the left side of the body. Well done, gently changing sides. So we're just gonna thread the left arm underneath. Relax the head onto the floor. Press the left palm into the floor. Don't force the stretch, just do where your body will allow you to go. Just be gentle. Well done, coming back to centre and just finishing with a nice glute stretch. In sitting, um, you can sit on the mat or you can do it in the chair, whatever is comfortable for you. So we'll just place that right heel on the left knee. Still think of your posture, it is easy to kind of slouch into that stretch and think, yeah, that feels great. But you, if you gently think about opening through the chest, you'll actually feel you get uh, a stronger stretch. Feel free if you want to move side to side um, or stay still, whatever feels comfortable for you. One more breath here. Slowly unravel. You may feel that you're tighter on one side. This is definitely my tighter side. And again, check in with your posture. Um, gently rock side to side or hold the stretch, uh, whatever feels comfortable for you. One more breath. 